Hello everyone. So today, well the past couple days, you know, with this full moon here and everything has gotten me thinking um, about how I could help, you know, you guys or anyone going through a hard time right now and who is suffering. So through my years of study of spiritualism, witchcraft, consciousness, all these types of things, um, through all of those, the same undercurrent uh, message is there. So with people, humans as a whole, human behavior, we have a tendency to want to escape um, reality. This is just like an innate, innate thing. And when we feel scared, lonely, when we feel things too intensely, we, we tend to lean towards escapism, i.e. drugs, alcohol, however you, you know, escape, however you help yourself feel more alive. Um, so a thought, a thought came over me of the, the way of helping yourself in times of struggle. Um, we all have, all of us, we all have things that are less than desirable traits about ourselves, myself included. I have a lot of issues. I am human. I display negative behaviors almost daily. Um, but what I don't do is I don't sit there and say, this is just who I am. And, uh, you know, or... I don't do anymore. I say, you're the source of my pain. You're the source of my unhappiness. I know that I am my only source of pain. And whether it be through oblivion, like um, not purposely not looking at your problem so you don't have to face it, so you don't then don't have to fix it, or um, you don't know a, another way. Nobody's ever told, showed you how to deal with your traumas and your pains and your um, things in your, that other people have done to you in your life that have caused you to then suffer. Um, the biggest way to move past those things is to accept yourself for who you are. Accept, if you have a problem with addiction, accept that you have trauma about your past that you need healed. And if you don't heal it, then accept it. Accept that you're a drug addict. But if you are suffering with it, um, you don't have to just put it all down, okay? You can, there's gradual steps where you can learn to accept your own behavior. And then you can recognize, um, okay, I'm not doing anything to actively change this behavior, therefore I must be wanting to do this. This must be um, something I'm going to do anyway. Um, whether the option um, to change it was there or not. So, you know, when, when I'm having my bad days, I have my bad days, but I don't let myself get stuck there. I don't let myself use that as an excuse or a crutch to, now I used to, trust me you guys, I used to use these things as crutches and excuses for the way I was. I I would say, oh, my past was so terrible and everybody was this and that and I, I don't care if I'm hurting people. But then I started to look at my life from a different perspective um, and think, I started to show, show myself more kindness and started to accept myself and my negative traits because that's a big part of it. You have to accept that you're a human and you have negative things about you and that is okay. Um, but you have to learn the, the where, it, where it comes in is to actively, what you do after, after, okay? You can have slip ups, you can have relapses, you can have outbursts, but take responsibility for that outburst and that negative aspect and then apologize and if you can't change it be honest just be just 
get honest with yourself. Get honest um, with other people in your life and say, you know what, I'm a fucking mess and the door is open for you to leave. I completely understand, but this is what I have. And that's what I do when I meet new people. I say, you know, listen, I have issues. I suffer, okay? It all looks peachy keen from the outside in, but I suffer every single day of my life with my own thoughts. And a lot of the times I really have to remember to check myself saying, okay, I'm just going to have a bad day today. I'm just going to be mean and I'm going to have a bad day today. And then tomorrow I'm going to apologize and move on. You know, that's all you can do. That's all we can do as humans. That's all we can do as people. So don't, you know, have your, accept that's, it, it will, it will save you so much stress from trying uh, instead of swimming against the current and, and swimming against who you actually are. Because what I used to do is when I would meet people, I would like, I would tell them a version of myself that I wanted to exist, that I hoped I could be. Um, but then when I failed at that, then um, people were surprised, you know. But if you come out the gate and say, you know what, this is how I'm fucked up and this is the ways I'm fucked up, but I'm always working on them. I will always be the first to admit when I'm in the wrong. I will always be the first to apologize. I will always um, try, to really try to recognize and pull myself out of the situation and say, I had a bad day, but it's not a bad life. So you have to give everything some perspective and yourself. You have to talk to yourself in a way that you would a friend. Um, and it really helps let go of this tension and the struggle of, of trying to, of creating a persona of somebody that you wish you could be and then trying to live up to that instead of just accepting yourself for maybe the asshole that you are or the crybaby that you are or the antisocial weirdo that you are or just the completely normal person or the person like me who can't deal with people bullshitting me and I'll call you out and which makes a lot of people uncomfortable. Hence why I have no people, um, only the strong survive around me. Um, because I am a negative person. I can be a negative person, but I never let myself live in that negativity anymore. I never let my even if I know I was completely in the wrong, I will just suck it up and say, you know what? I'm sorry. You know, I have issues. <laughs> I I have issues. I do. Um, but I'm working on them, you know, and, and that's all you can really ask of yourself and other people is to always check it and say, okay, well, yes, I was in the wrong. Never just accept you are the way one way and because you've always been that way. That's not a way to live. My father's like that. My mother's like that. Let yourself, love yourself enough to let yourself evolve and let yourself shed a, an old skin or an old persona of who you were. Old behaviors. Um, if you, if you know, if you're stubborn like I am and you just don't want to give in just to not give the other person satisfaction, let go of those ideas and, and do it for yourself. Let go of an argument for yourself so you can have peace of mind, not for the other person. Forgiveness is all about for you. Forgiveness is all about saying, you know what, uh, I forgive, um, but I have no room for that in my life. You can, that's, you can do that with forgiveness. You don't have to, just because you forgive people and forgive yourself does not mean that you allow things like that in your life. You understand? So... I hope this gave some insight to somebody. Um, and I love you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.